Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm one of the CVTs and training specialists here at Dove Lewis. Today, I'm going to do a technician hack for you, and we're going to turn a T-port into a Y-set. We have W-sets downstairs, but sometimes we don't have Y-sets, so you can make a T-port into a Y-set so that you can run your patient's fluids and maybe some other fluids or a CRI at the same time. So for this setup, I have grabbed supplies that we've already used because as you know right now, there are some shortages on supplies. So please forgive my used um, extension sets and my partially used sub-Q fluid bag and drip set. In this case, you will be wearing gloves for this just to keep it uh, more clean. So I'm gonna open my Y connector, or my T-port to my Y connector and have everything out and ready to go. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to prep your T-port. And there's a lot of different T-ports out there, but for this one, this is how we do it. So I'm going to grab my scissors and take the cap off. And I have a little bit of alcohol to clean the tips right here before I go ahead and take this top off. And I don't know if you can see on here or not, but there is a um, little plastic wrap around the rubber stopper on the top. So I'm gonna cut that plastic wrap off by doing this. Slide my clean scissors underneath that little rubber. And be careful not to stab yourself, of course. Put that down there, and then you can peel it back. There we go. All right, get that and put that away. And then this guy can fold up and it'll pop right out, but I wanna get ready to stick it onto my drip, my drip set. So here's my drip set and it's going to go in this end, and then we're gonna have our extension set going towards the patient. I like to put uh, my main fluids through um, the straight part of the T-port. I'm gonna take that off and take the rubber stopper out and then connect them very carefully, lock that into place. All right, and then I've already popped off my lid by accident, and here is my extension set that will be going to my patient. Okay. And then for our second set of fluids or our CRI, we're going to use our other um, extension set and or drip set, depending on your protocol and how you usually set it up. And I'm going to insert that there and then pretend that this would go to another, another fluid setup. So we have fluids that are running towards the patient and fluids and or CRI that are also joining in and going towards the patient. Another thing to remember is to bleed your lines so that you don't have any air in them. I have a lot of air in these because they were used sets. And that is our technician hack. Thanks.